let's start with holy water in nomine patris et vidi et spiritus sancti amen kyrie eleison kyrie eleison kyrie eleison christe eleison christe eleison christe eleison Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Confitio Dei Onopotente, Beate Maria Semper Vigene, Beato Michele Arcangelo, Beato Moana Baptiste, Santos Apostoles Petro et Paolo, Onopotentes et Tipi Pater, Ia Picapi in Miscitutatione, Verbo et Opere. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, Itior pecor piatum Maria Serper Vigilim, piatum Michele Arcangelum, piatum Juanne Baptistem, Santos Apostolis Petro et Paulum, Juanne Pesantos, este Pater, orare pro me, ad Dominum Deum Nostrum. Pater Noster, Alpha Omega, Sator, Arepo, Tenet, Opera, Rotas. God the Father, the Most High, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, God of Holy Ghost, of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All the archangels, Saint Michael, Saint Sophia, Saint Samuel, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael, Saint Uriel, Saint Zedekiel, and all our guardian angels. Hail Kahata Domini, Hail Kahata Domini, Hail Kahata Domini, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and all the saints in heaven. Grant me, O Lord, the power to my hands for wiping all stain, so that without defilement of my mind and body, that I might serve you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. My mercy, my safeguard, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in which I take refuge to subdue people under me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Pater nostra, quia in cielo, sanctificet tu nomen tuum, ad venia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo, ad in terra. Pater nostrum quotidianum, dat nobis odie, et timite nobis temite nostra, sicut in nos temitimus territoribus nostris, et ne nos in tucas in tentationem, sed libera nostra malo. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu, mulieribus, at benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mother Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nun en in hora multis nostre. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritu et Santo, sicuter et principio, et nun et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Pili et Spiritu Sancti. Amen. Let's pray. The Divine Mercy Chaplet for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of our family members who pass away before us and please 
mentioned their date of death. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Piritus Sancti. Amen. Opening prayers. You expire, Jesus, but the source of light transport for souls, and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fun of light unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which transport from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which transport from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which transport from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And for the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
and for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and ability of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Closing prayer. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. 
the Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All angels and saints in heaven, pray for us. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on our soul. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on our soul. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on our soul. Let's pray St. Michael's prayer. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who brought to the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Abba, Sator, our Father, the Almighty, who created heaven and earth, Abba, Sator. I, H, S, Jesus Huminum Salvator, Jesus Christ, the Savior of Man. Archangel's sword, God of Gods, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, God of Executioner, you will be terminated. Goodbye, baby. You lose. We win. God always wins. The rules of engagement. God rules the game. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater Noster, Alpha Omega. Sator, Repo, Tenet, Opera, Rotas. Yesua, Amashe. Sator, Surga, Orgadiak. Amen, Amen, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Standard Version, 2nd Catholic Edition, Ignatius Press. Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verse 38. Jesus said to him, Teacher, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him, for no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon after to speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is for us. For truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose his reward. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 49. John answered, Master, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him, because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not forbid him, for he that is not against you is for you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. This is about underground church. Someone's part superior in every way because they focus on the Catholic faith and they get into much greater detail about what is happening in the church and what is
has happened in the church. And remember, these interviews were given in the 1990s, and they sound like they could apply today. One of my hypotheses is that people would have a different attitude about that era in the church and the hierarchy at the time if social media had existed. People have been aware of everything going on in the church at the time. They say ignorance is bliss, and I suspect that was how people got away with so much in those days. People weren't able to let everybody know what was happening. And so, here we have Father Malachi Martin talking about the crisis in the church, and more importantly for the purposes of those of us who are watching, those of you watching this, and those of us who spend a great deal of time talking about this stuff, he reiterates something that Fulton Sheen said. Towards the end of his life, Fulton Sheen, who clearly had some buyer's remorse for having accepted Vatican II and the innovations that came from it and that they having been party to a lot of that, I mean, that is just an unpleasant fact, he was party to a lot of the innovations that happened at that time. He clearly had buyer's remorse. If you've watched the, the last few of his addresses he gave, he never spoke about them, but if you know how to read body language you, or how to hear emotion in, in a human voice, you could hear that he was sorrowful about the state of things. And he once said in one of those final addresses that it would be the lady who would save the church. He seemed very sad about the things happening in the church at the time. And here we have Father Malachi Martin reiterating that, that it will be not the bishops, but it will be the everyday Catholic who responds to this and addresses this problem ourselves. Mr. Bernard Jansen asks Malachi Martin, suppose there is a dissident theologian or an apostate pope. Are they part of the mystical body of Christ or not? To which Father Malachi Martin responds, no, they are not. An apostate has ceased to be. That is why no apostate bishop can receive obedience. You are free from all obedience to an apostate. Once he's an apostate, you don't owe him any obedience. Before God and in genuine Christian justice, he has no authority. He should have been deposed long ago. You have no obligation to obey them. A heretic, if he is really a heretic, then he is in mortal sin, and nobody should pay any attention to him. We should pray for him, that's all. The apostate bishops should be deposed. To which Mr. Jansen responds, So we're in a situation where the institutional church does not necessarily line up with the mystical body of Christ? And Father Malachi Martin gives this hard response. No, it does not. It does not. And remember that in the time of the Arius, as Newman pointed out in his examination of the heresy of Arius, what restored the church? Remember, first of all, the heresy of Arius had attracted 81% of the bishops. And St. Basil the Great and Gregory said when they traveled and went into a church dominated by the followers of Arius, they never mentioned Jesus. They never mentioned the Holy Ghost. Newman points out that the people who saved the church finally got rid of the followers of Arius. They were not the clergy and not the Pope, but the people in their faith. The belly of the faith of the people finally shed them of this alien material. Similarly here too, it will be the people themselves, God in the people, who will reject them. But then they will have to have the lawful authority when there is a lawful authority that consents to exercise its responsibilities and tell the people the truth of revelation. Now the next part here is a little bit different. This is in his own voice. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Many, many, many priests, clergy, bishops, archbishops, cardinals, and we have one pope who are heretic. They are blasphemy. They are doing sacrilege, insult to the Father, to Jesus Christ, to the Holy Ghost. You don't have to follow them. Remember, remember, we will have an underground church. I've been preaching this, telling you what to do. 
Go to Latin Mass. Go to Latin Mass. Go to Latin Mass. Forget the Bergoglio Church, the Bergoglio Nobis Order Church, Mass. Okay, let me get Angel. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. We have four symbols of the Holy Ghost. Dove, fire, water, candlestick lamp. We have the three candles representing the Holy Trinity. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. We have the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And the Blessed Candle. Unum Sanctum Catholicum et Apostolicum Iglesiam. 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 One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Viva Bigino. Viva Archbishop Lafayette. Long live Bigino. Tomorrow Sunday, today is Saturday. And I say, as I said, many priests clergies, bishops, archbishops, cardinals, and popes are sinful. They committed heresy. What do you do? You are part of it. You want to go to hell? There's only two ways. Love God or love your Your father, the father of lies, the devil. Please, make a choice. Forget the Nobus Ordo Mass. Attend Latin Mass. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Piritus Sancti. Amen. Amen. Angel. Angel, good morning, Angel. I cannot see you, Angel. Good morning. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, this is another video about underground church. Okay, okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Smile, Angel. Smile. Smile, Angel. Show your teeth. Angel, show your teeth. Angel. Angel, show your teeth. Okay, bye-bye. You love them.